taking care of your lungs is essential for anyone who is focusing on improving their overall health. Because when excess mucus is present, it can be very discomforting, especially if you just can't seem to get rid of it. The good news is, there are several natural herbs that studies have shown to contain potent therapeutic properties which are beneficial for your lungs and respiratory system. In this video, we're going to specifically talk about five herbs that you can use to clear up your lungs and make breathing easier. Be sure to watch until the very end because there's one that far too many people overlook. So if you're ready, let's get into it. I'm not the girl that I used to be sometime. Before we go any further, just know that we are not doctors. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. Please speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about which herbs are most beneficial for the health of your lungs and respiratory system. First and foremost, we have eucalyptus. The eucalyptus tree originated in Australia and has been a source of food for wildlife for centuries. It wasn't until later on that humans discovered its positive health benefits. The leaves of a eucalyptus tree can be distilled and diluted into an essential oil, which can be used for medicinal purposes, such as treating sinus congestion, common cold, fever, and other respiratory ailments. Eucalyptus has a component called cineol, which is an active ingredient that works as an expectorant. This means that it can ease a cough and aid in the removal of secretions. Cineol has antioxidant and antimicrobial effects that can provide a boost to the immune system as well. It reacts with the mucous membranes of the lungs and helps loosen up secretions so that they can be coughed up more easily. The next herb that is beneficial for your lungs is whorehound. The whorehound leaf, which comes from the mint family, is actually a common ingredient in cough drops and cough syrup. That is because its natural properties work as an expectorant to aid in the removal of mucus and secretions from the lungs. This means that it would be useful for those with allergies, sinus infections, and chest congestion. Some people use this herb to make their own cough syrup by finely chopping up the leaves and mixing them with alcohol and honey. So if you're interested in creating your own DIY concoction, this may be something to look into. Next up is Osha root. The roots of this herb contain several components that can provide a boost to the lungs and respiratory system. Specifically, it helps increase blood circulation to the lungs, which in turn helps improve oxygenation throughout the entire body. Osha root also has antihistamine properties which works well for soothing sinus infections and other respiratory illnesses. Just to name a few, this powerful herb is used for treating cough, sore throat, bronchitis, and common colds. A few drops of concentrated osha root extract can be added to your water or beverage of choice. The numbing effects help to alleviate the irritated tissues of the airways and respiratory tract. And of course, this goes for all home remedies, Always check with your doctor before medicating yourself at home because you don't want to put anything into your body that it can't handle. But moving right along, the next herb that you should know about is ginseng. It's an herb that has been used in traditional Asian medicine for centuries. Ginseng is known for its potent antioxidant properties, which works well for fighting inflammation. Not only is this beneficial for your lungs, is good for pretty much every organ and system in the human body. Not to mention, studies found that ginseng actually can provide a boost to the immune system as well. So yeah, boosting the immune system and lowering inflammation is cool and all, but that's not even why we included ginseng in this video. The reason is, Studies found that ginseng is beneficial for those with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease as well aka COPD. And in case you weren't aware, COPD is the third leading cause of death in the United States, so it affects far more people than you probably realize. Multiple studies found that those with stable COPD who take ginseng experience improvements in breathing and lung function 
which ultimately leads to a better overall quality of life. Keep in mind though, that at this time, there is no cure for COPD, but traditional medicine, along with herbs such as ginseng, can provide some relief for the symptoms. Next up is mullein. It's another herb that has traditionally been used as a remedy for the lungs and respiratory tract thanks to its soothing ingredients. The mullein leaf has antibacterial properties that fight against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Some studies found that it even has antiviral and antifungal properties as well. This trifecta is good when it comes to treating breathing issues that are associated with colds and respiratory infections. The most practical way to consume mullein is as an herbal tea, or you can add a few drops of concentrated extract to other beverages as well. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, you might as well go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I really think you will enjoy. I hope you like the tips that were shared in this video. Millions of people around the world suffer from all different types of respiratory ailments. Thankfully, Mother Nature has our backs by providing us with these amazing herbs that can be used as a natural alternative to traditional drugs, oftentimes with fewer side effects as well. So for anyone who is looking to give their lungs a much needed boost, you can give these five herbs a chance and they are eucalyptus, whorehound, osha root, ginseng, and mullein. Keep in mind though to always check with your doctor for medical advice and treatment because they will know more about your individual condition. Just one final reminder, this video is for informational purposes only. But hopefully you got a lot out of it and hopefully you're now one step closer to taking care of your respiratory system and improving your overall health. Which of these herbs do you plan on testing out? Let me know down in the comments section below. And just a reminder, we have a full guide on this topic on our website. I will drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy my friend. Chances, I don't care, I'm fine, I'm fancy and brighter Yeah, 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 oh boy, I'm telling you about